Hello there, Tony Medley here again and a nice warm welcome back to my workshop. Today's project is going to be a zip vase made from this piece of wood which is a nice piece of U and it's approximately 12 inches long by six and a half inches in diameter. Uh, we're going to start by getting it onto the lathe and truing it up and then we'll take it from there. I've put a tenon on this side, put it in the chuck for extra safety, uh, brought the tailstock up and I've rounded it off, uh, I trued it up to the best, uh, still a little bit more to take off. I think what we need to do now is to make the bulbous shape here, then in over from about two, th two thirds in over and then we'll start to shave it into the shape of a, a vase and then we can add the, the zip. Um, not sure where we'll put the zip, we'll just wait until we we'll see if we get any inclusions anywhere and then we'll, we'll take it off them from there. Right, I've got the basic shape, uh, the wood turned out to be very punky, I don't know if it's really dry, um, but you can see um, I'm going to have to scrape it off and get the best finish I can before sanding. But at least we've got the basic shape to it. Um, what we're going to do now is obviously, I think I'll finish this side off um, with sandpaper all through the grits and Yorkshire grit, and then we'll start to hollow it. But um, it just looks to me like it's, it's, it's got some lovely grain on it, don't get me wrong. But it's just, uh, I'm finding problems with it being uh, very punky, the, the wood. Uh, you can see there's, there's bits of 
teared out or it just seems to be uh, not a fine finish doesn't matter how sharp my tools are um, doesn't seem to get a good finish on it Well, I sanded it down and it's a lot better, it's a lot smoother. I uh, managed to get all of the, the tear out, out of it. But I'm, I'm heading towards not putting a zip in this one. And the reason being, when you look at all of the, the grain, uh, you I could turn all day. I just, so the, the pleasure of turning where you, you get this lovely grain, and obviously it's a surprise every time you turn it. So. I'm, I'm trying to find a place where I could put the zip in, but when you look here, it's got some nice purple marks on it there. It's got all this lovely grain here. Uh, it would be a shame to take that knot out or the, the, the tree branch. And you've got other little bits of purple here. And then round here, there's just that lovely grain. You know, I just, uh, it would be um, illegal to take it out, I want of a better word. It's just, uh, it's just so nice. I'll see what it's like when I've polished it up. I'm going to use some Yorkshire grit on it now and some polish, sand and sealer, Yorkshire grit, then some polish, and then we'll see from there. We'll take it from there. Right, I've applied Yorkshire grit uh, and fitted my steady. It's time to hollow out now. So what I'm going to do, uh, which makes it a lot easier, is to go through at the moment with the forcing a bit. Uh, I've marked it off uh, there, so it'll go through. And we'll take it out the bottom, then I'll get uh, the hollowing system out and we'll hollow it out. Right, I've set the hollowing system up. Uh, we're all ready to hollow. I've drilled through with a 30 millimetre force and a bit. Um, what we're gonna do now is hollow it to about a quarter of an inch thickness. Um, the system that I use is the Salmon Hope, which I find very, very um, good. Um, I'll move the camera later on so you can see. There's just two points, um, what you use, uh, one's the thickness of the bowl, one's the end of the cutter, and we'll take it from there. So we'll get cracking, we'll start hollowing, then halfway through I will move the camera 
onto there so you can see the screen. Well, I've got it hollowed out and I've changed now to the scraper. Uh, it's just a round, it's a round disc now on the end which scrapes the, the inside. Right, I've sanded down to 320, followed by Yorkshire grit, and uh, my dilemma now is that, you know, the grain that I've got in this piece is absolutely wonderful, and it would be criminal uh, to cut into, to put a zip in it. So I'm gonna leave that project uh, for now, I'll just keep it as it is, and I'll use a piece of laburnum to, to, to do one with the zip. But uh, as you can see, just everything is just beautiful about it. Um, I love working with you because it's a surprise every time you um, take it down. Um, just look at the little purple marks in that, the grain, absolutely wonderful. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put some um, high gloss polish on it uh, and then hopefully that should be it. Well, it's done, and as I said earlier, uh, the grain is just far too good to be cutting it, cutting it to put a, a zip in. I've put my new logo on the bottom, and you know, you can just see it's absolutely superb, the grain. Um, not more I can really say about it now, uh, but um, I will do a, a zip vase with another piece of wood, probably laburnum, where it doesn't really matter about the grain as, as much, uh, and I'll put the zip in that one. I think I'll also try the laced up one as well. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe, uh, hit the like button, 
uh, and we'll catch up with you very shortly for the next video. Thanks for watching now. Bye.